A lot of NFL teams might be regretting some of their choices that they made in last year's draft. With the first pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Aiden Hutchison. If teams had the benefit of hindsight and got to redo the first round, how might things play out? Well, today, here is our official redrafting of the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft. Number 1. Jacksonville Jaguars Aiden Hutchinson Many expected the Jaguars to go with the more polished Hutchinson here, but they instead took Georgia's Trayvon Walker with the top pick. Now, Walker had a solid rookie year, but Hutchinson performed like a seasoned vet. The Michigan product led all rookies with 9.5 sacks for starters. Even as a defensive end, Hutchinson recorded three interceptions and a pair of fumble recoveries. Number 2. Detroit Lions Ahmad Sass Gardner The Lions aren't complaining about landing Hutchinson with the number 2 pick, but he's not available in this redraft. So let's get the Lions the next best player available in Sass Gardner, who happened to win Defensive Rookie of the Year honors after an all-world season. The Lions have had one of football's worst pass defenses for half a decade and counting, but Gardner alone would have turned this secondary into a more respectable unit. Number 3. Houston Texans Trayvon Walker Now, Walker didn't wow the world during his rookie year, but the Texans ought to bank on his upside here. Plus, new head coach D'Amico Ryans would easily maximize Walker's skill set in his blitz-happy defense. Number 4. New York Jets Derek Stingley Jr. The Jets are obviously thrilled that they came away with Sauce Gardner in this slot, but they're gonna have to settle on the next best corner in Stingley Jr., who probably would have done more as a rookie and Robert Sala's defense compared to Lovey Smith's. Number 5. New York Giants Garrett Wilson The Ohio State product won Offensive Rookie of the Year honors after racking up 83 receptions for 1,103 yards and 4 touchdowns for the Jets. Surely, he would have gone much earlier than 10th overall if teams knew what was ahead. Number 6. Carolina Panthers Kayvon Thibodeau Thibodeau was once viewed as the top prospect in the 2022 draft, but questions about his work ethic led to him sliding. In this redo, he falls just one spot to the Panthers at number six overall. Now, Thibodeau had four sacks and two forced fumbles in his rookie year, so there is definitely another gear for him to kick into, and the idea of him working alongside superstar Brian Burns would be a terrifying thought for the rest of the NFC. Number 7. New York Giants Tyler Linderbaum The Giants took Evan Neal with this pick, but the Alabama product had a frustrating rookie year that saw him miss four games. So here, let's give the Giants arguably the top rookie offensive lineman of 2022 in Tyler Linderbaum. He was a rock in the run blocking game for the Baltimore Ravens and allowed just three sacks on 1,092 offensive snaps per pro football focus. Number 8. Atlanta Falcons Chris Olave Drake London had a very solid rookie year, but Olave was a second most productive first-year receiver of 2022, despite missing two games. You think Atlanta might have liked Olave as a compliment to Kyle Pitts, Tyler Algier, and Cordell Patterson? Number 9. Seattle Seahawks Charles Cross The Seahawks hit a home run with the Cross selection, so why change things? He and fellow rookie Abraham Lucas completely changed the dynamic of Seattle's offensive line, an area that has always been a bit of a weak spot during the Russell Wilson era. Number 10. New York Jets Drake London With Wilson off the board, the Jets take the best available receiver in Drake London. Despite playing in a run-heavy Atlanta offense, London hauled in 72 catches for 866 yards and 4 touchdowns. London's massive 6'5", 210-pound frame would have made him a key weapon in the Jets' offense. Number 11. New Orleans Saints George Pickens With Olave unavailable, the Saints follow the Jets' move by taking the best receiver left. In this case, it's Georgia Prod. George Pickens, who somehow slipped down to the Pittsburgh Steelers in round 2 at number 52 overall last year. Despite mediocre play from Pittsburgh's quarterbacks, Pickens got 52 passes for 801 yards and 4 touchdowns. He made a handful of acrobatic highlight reel grabs, and he would have found his footing in this New Orleans offense without issue. Number 12. Detroit Lions Jaquan Brisker The Chicago Bears' safety was one of the top rookies of 2022, recording an interception, two pass defenses, a forced fumble, and four sacks. Sauce Gardner and Brisker patrolling Detroit secondary, now we would be talking about a top flight defense. Number 13, Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Petrie. This pick here is thanks to the benefit of hindsight, since the Eagles lost CJ Gardner Johnson in free agency. Philly already has two of the game's top corners in James Bradbury and Darius Slay. Now just imagine if they also had the Baylor safety to complement those two in the secondary. Baltimore Ravens, Kyle Hamilton. 
Nothing really to change here. The Ravens are extremely fortunate that Hamilton somehow slipped to them at number 14, even though many scouts and analysts had him ranked as a top five prospect for the 2022 class. Hamilton absolutely flourished in Mike McDonald's defense as a Swiss Army knife, making plays in coverage in the run-stopping department, and heck, even as a pass rusher. Number 15, Houston Texans, Abraham Lucas. Houston had the right idea when they took a guard with this pick, but Kenyon Green largely disappointed as a rookie and showed that there is plenty of work to do. Washington State's right tackle, Abraham Lucas, fell to the Seahawks at the number 72 spot. Named a PFF Shell rookie team, Lucas flourished as a run blocker and provided ample pass protection for Geno Smith, who, in turn, had a career year for the Seahawks. Number 16, Washington Commanders, Brock Purdy. Everyone knows the story of 2022 Mr. Irrelevant Brock Purdy, who saved the San Francisco 49ers season by winning his first seven starts before a UCL injury in the NFC Championship game derailed the team's title hopes. Is Purdy simply a product of playing in Kyle Shanahan's QB-friendly system? Maybe, maybe not. The QB needy commanders have to find out one way or another. Number 17, Los Angeles Chargers, Tariq Woolen. The Chargers' pass defense has been a problem over the last two years, despite strong play from Derwin James Jr. and Asante Samuel Jr. Maybe Tariq Woolen, a pro bowler in his rookie year, is the final piece needed to turn this unit around. Number 18, Tennessee Titans, Christian Watson. Wide receiver was a position to need after Tennessee traded A.J. Brown to Philly, but Traylon Burks was inconsistent in the 11 games that he started, and the Titans' lack of a pass-catching threat cost him a fourth straight playoff berth. Even though he missed three games, Christian Watson had nine total touchdowns for the Green Bay Packers last year. The North Dakota State product would have been an ideal deep threat for a Titans team that struggled without A.J. Brown. Number 19, New Orleans Saints, Evan Neal. Neal had a tough rookie year with the Giants, but he surely would have had more success in the Big Easy. Even if Neal didn't perform well as a rookie, he would be in a good position to adapt his game quickly and grow into a cornerstone on one of the game's top offensive lines. Number 20, Pittsburgh Steelers, Kenny Pickett. The Steelers have zero regrets over making pick at the first QB taken in the 2022 draft. He certainly had his ups and downs like any rookie QB, but he also showed enough promise to cement himself as the long-term starter in Steel City. Number 21, Kansas City Chiefs, George Karlaftis. Kansas City landed the Purdue defensive end with a number 30 selection, but in this redraft, they simply won't risk letting him slip out of their hands. Karlaftis started slow, but managed to finish with six sacks, two fumbled recoveries, and seven passes defended. Karlaftis was a difference maker in the Chiefs' Super Bowl 57 championship journey as well. Number 22, Green Bay Packers, Jahan Dotson. Christian Watson was a nice find at the number 34 overall, but he's off the board this time around. So the cheese heads gotta go elsewhere. The pack happily settle on Jahan Dotson, who tied Watson in receiving touchdowns among rookies with seven. Number 23, Buffalo Bills, Kenneth Walker III. The Bills were eliminated in the divisional round for the second straight year, and the over-reliance on Josh Allen in the rushing game was a key reason why. Imagine if the Bills had Kenneth Walker III to lead their backfield. All he did in 15 games was rush for 1,050 yards and nine touchdowns for the Seahawks. Shall we also mention that the Bills haven't had a 1,000-yard rusher since LaShawn McCoy in 2017? Number 24, Dallas Cowboys, Tyler Smith. Here's another pick that we refuse to change. Jerry Jones got it right the first time, and he should not have any regrets. Another member of the PFF 2022 All-Rookie Team, Smith slotted in nicely on Dallas's O-line and and immediately produced. Number 25, Baltimore Ravens, Jordan Davis. Baltimore's defensive line relied too much on aging assets like Justin Houston and Calais Campbell. So let's give them run-stopping sensation Jordan Davis to beef up the interior D-line for years to come. Davis and Hamilton in the first round? Yeah, that would have been a very nice haul for GM Eric DaCosta. Number 26, New York Jets, Brees Hall. The Jets got Hall in round two with the number 36 pick, but they simply aren't gonna risk anything here. Hall was on his way to an offensive Rookie of the Year honors before a season-ending ACL tear, racking up 463 rushing yards, 218 receiving yards, and five total touchdowns in just seven games. Hall is an absolute star in the making here. Number 27, Jacksonville Jaguars, Devin Lloyd. 
Yet another original pick that we don't think really needs to be changed one year later. Lloyd was instrumental in helping the Jaguars close out the second half on a scorching hot run that culminated in a surprise AFC South Division title. Lloyd had 115 combined tackles, 3 interceptions, 8 pass defenses, and 2 fumble recoveries. Number 28, the Green Bay Packers, James Houston. Houston's teammate, Aiden Hutchinson, was the only rookie to finish with more sacks last year. Houston finished with eight on the season, forming a prolific pass rushing duo alongside the number two pick. The Packers used this pick on Devontae Wyatt, who had a frustrating and unproductive rookie year. So this time, let's give them Houston instead and watch him do wonders on that star-studded defense. Number 29, New England Patriots, Quay Walker. Bill Belichick loves do it all linebackers and defensive generals who can take over games with their explosive abilities and high football IQ. Walker shined as a rookie for Green Bay in a limited role, but we're sure he would have fared even better on New England's defense. Number 30, Kansas City Chiefs, Damian Pierce. Seventh rounder Isaiah Pacheco played a big role in the Chiefs Super Bowl championship season. So with this pick, the Chiefs got to play it safe and ensure they have a productive running back for Patrick Mahomes. Damian Pierce of the Texans racked up 939 rushing yards and four touchdowns despite missing four games. That type of production would be welcomed with open arms by Andy Reid and company. Number 31, Cincinnati Bengals, Jamari Salyer. The Chargers found a gem in Jamari Salyer, who went in the sixth round at number 195 overall. Losing star offensive tackle Rashawn Slater should have been a brutal blow, but Salyer softened the damage with steady production on the O-line. The Bengals got to the AFC Championship game again despite a shaky pass block unit. They waste no time addressing that issue in a redraft by taking the versatile lineman. Number 32, Minnesota Vikings, Jack Jones. Minnesota's atrocious secondary led to them being a one-and-done postseason squad. If only they had some guys who, you know, could make a stop on defense. New England's Jack Jones, the number 121 pick, would have been very useful here. He notched two picks, six pass defenses, and yielded just a 64.8 passer rating when targeted, per pro football reference. Jones also didn't allow a single touchdown in coverage. So, in other words, he is exactly the type of person Minnesota could have really used. But what changes would you make to our redraft for the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.